simplified everything out, we're going to do our implicit differentiation. And so remember that y is some function of x. So I have a function plugged inside of a fourth power. So the derivative of the outside is 4 times y cubed, but the chain rule says then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So y prime, and we don't know exactly what the function is, so we'll just represent it by y prime, or dy dx. So then negative 6y squared times y prime. Minus 2y times y prime. Plus 2. Y prime. But 2y prime, exactly. So because all of those terms had y in it, all of them are going to have y prime. But then x is just an independent variable. So this will be 3x squared. This will be 4x. This will be 2x. Oh, I could have combined those. Plus 2. Plus 2. Okay, so then factoring out the y prime, at least all the y's are on one side. So you didn't have to group them really. So what I did there is I combined the 4 and the 2. And then I divided both sides by what was multiplying the y primes. So now I have a formula for the slope at any point. We were being asked where does this have horizontal tangents? And we, we did a, a similar problem with a different function. If the tangents are horizontal, then we know that the slope is equal to zero. zero. So we want to set equal to zero and solve that, that looks like a much worse equation than it really is until you think about, wait a minute, a fraction only equals zero if its numerator is zero. So this turns into just zero equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. As opposed, if we were actually trying to set that equal to some other number, that would be more of a problem. If I remember, I don't think that factors nicely. No, so, but you, you would have, it would be like 7x or something like that. Because your 3 and 2 make 6, but then you don't, you're left with the, the 1s. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, you're right. That's so. what you're looking at. Okay, so minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a.
So it says, at how many points does this curve have horizontal tangents? Estimate the x coordinates. Um, you have two different x coordinates. One is right here. Okay, so what's forming the bottom of his jaw and like this point and this point and this point. That's one of, all of those have the same x coordinate. And then the second one is giving you this point, this point, this point, and this point. So to answer the first question, exactly, at eight points, dy dx equals zero. Four occur at one. Minus three, three over three. Yep. And then another four over one plus. Yep. And if you wanted to try to find the y coordinates, I just I'm I'm going to talk about it because we should do something to kind of understand.